Okay, so today I'll be using uh, Unreal Engine 5 to make a door tutorial. So what I'll be doing is I'll be using these modular sci-fi hallways that I already have. Uh, so I'll be using these to make the door. So I'm going to go in here and go to meshes, and then I'm going to find the door I want, which is this door hallway L. Um, so you can find anything you want. And we're, we need to make what's called a blueprint. So we're going to make a blueprint. This blueprint is going to be an actor, and that actor is going to have programming inside of it that makes it the working door, essentially. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right-click this doorway. I'm going to go to Asset Actions, and I'm going to create blueprint using this. It's going to ask where I want to save it. I'm going to save it in the Blueprints folder in my Content folder, right? So everything has to be under Content. So I'm going to put it in Blueprints. I'm going to just call it Doorway. Doorway underscore one. Whoops. Underscore one. Save. Okay. Now, it opens up this window, which is the Blueprint window. Uh, so we're going to start working in this. I'm going to go ahead and make it nice and big. Uh, so now what we need to do is we need to add the door. So in our blueprint window, we have our details panel just like normal. And then we have what's actually making up the uh, doorway here. So the, the nice thing we can do is we can go to our content drawer, modular sci-fi hallways, meshes, and the doorway is right here. So I'm going to go ahead and just drag and drop that in. And then I'm going to move it over and get it lined up so it's where it should be, which is right there. There we go. So now it's lined up. Uh, so now the next thing I have to do is I have to add a collision box. If I don't have a collision box, what happens is the door won't move. So I'm going to go ahead and add. I'm going to type box. It's going to say box collision, and there it is. So I'm going to go ahead and move this over here. And I'm going to make it big so that way the player hits it so they don't have a, an option not to hit it when they get close to the door. Okay. There we go. Okay, now one thing I need to check is if I move the door, does the box move? No. Perfect. Okay. And what happens is over here on the left side, we have our box, which is our box collision. And the way it was inserted into the stack here is it was inserted after static mesh. So this is our base static mesh. This is our root. We can't move our root. Our root is always going to be the center of the blueprint. We can't move it. We can't change it. Um, but what we can do is make sure that everything is hooked to it. Now, what we have to be careful with is sometimes if we have the door, we can have the box connected to the door like that. And then if the door moves, it takes the box with it, which we don't necessarily want. So I'm just going to drag that box back up to static mesh and attach it. We don't want to make it the new route. We just want to attach it there. So now the door is free to move however it wants to without interacting with, uh, without moving the rest of the model. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this uh, collision box. I'm going to scroll down on the right side under details. I'm going to go to on component begin overlap. I'm going to click that plus. And what I have to do is I have to bring out the door, right? Because the door is going to be what I want to move. So I'm going to bring that down. And that's just simply dragging it from the left side and putting it down here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag off of this and I'm going to type move component to. And the component we're moving is the door. Okay. Now, one thing we have to do is we have to go ahead and get our relative location of the door. Otherwise, it'll try to teleport it to 0, 0, 0 in the world space. We don't want that. So I'm going to pull off of the door and I'm going to type get relative and we'll choose location. And then I'm going to add to that value. So I'm just going to do the plus symbol. I'm going to choose operators, add. And I'm going to add to Z. We're going to say I would like it to go up on Z 800 units. And I'm just going to compile and save it to make sure it works. And then we'll do the rest of this. OK. So I went ahead and minimized it. And obviously, it's not here. So let me go to my content folder and then my blueprints. And there's doorway right there. So I'm just going to drop that down. Hit play. And the door opens. Now, we do have a problem is if I keep hitting the, the collision box, it's going to keep going up. So we don't want that. So we'll fix that right now. All right. A couple of quick things we can do is we want the door to only trigger one time. So I'm going to pull off of this. And I'm going to type do once. Uh, 
Okay, so this is going to make it so it only triggers one time. Don't worry, we're going to reset it so that way it can keep triggering whenever we want the door to open. Now, a cool trick here is I'm just going to copy all of this, Control-C, Control-V, and paste it. Now what happens is we just copied this whole component, which is moving the door 800 units, right? Except we're going to want to move the door a negative 800 units because we want it to come back down. So negative 800. And we connect those two together. So what this is saying is once we overlap the box, it's going to do it one time. It's going to move this component. And then right after it moves that component, it's going to slam it back down. So we want to introduce what's called a delay in between here. So I'm just going to pull off of that and type delay. Delay. And I'm going to put a delay of two seconds. So it's going to keep the door open for two seconds. Now, after it's completed, after it shut the door, I would like it to reset that trigger. I'd like it to reset the box. Let's test it now. So there's my door. I hit the box. It opens. And it closes. And I can leave the box, go back into the box. And it works just fine. And that's a really, really simple way to make a door in Unreal Engine 5.